Hey guys, it's Matea. I just have some quick projects. Well, not quick, but something quick to share with you. Um, I uh, told my husband I wanted a cinch for Christmas, and he ordered it for me and was going to wait till Christmas to give it to me, but I was complaining how I really wanted to make projects with it, so he gave it to me early, and I got to play with it. So I made a homemade junk journal. And I'm sorry about the glare, that's just the Mod Podge. Um, so here's what the cover looks like. I just bound it with the cinch. Um, this is some medium weight chipboard that I covered with music sheet paper, vintage paper. Ink the edges with uh, tea dye Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. And the middle part here is some Saw Crafters trim, just some pearls and lace. And then this is one of those Tim Holtz plates, metal plates, uh, whatever they're called, and then I just put in a Dodge ticket in there with some crackle accents, and tied some laces and ribbons, so I like that, and it's a pretty thick one, so really fun, um, just put some uh, miscellaneous papers in here, most of the paper, pattern paper is from Cut and Paste by Kay and Company, so it's really cute. And then I just put some uh, vintage flashcards in there from Julie. These are also from Julie. I'll just kind of flip through it. This is from um, We Are Memory Keepers. Um, it's like a family keepsake collection, I think it's called. Some coffee dyed tags that I tried to do. See, Julie, they aren't as good as yours. <laughs> This I got from Cass. Thank you, Cass. Um, just some paper, another tag. Okay, guys, this might take a while, but I want to show you kind of everything I did. A coin envelope, just some purple paper. This is, a, again, from the We Are Memory Keepers collection. Cute. Um, some vintage music paper. Some more craft paper and colored paper. Same from We Are Memory Keepers. This is from K and Company Cut and Paste. I love these papers. They're so vintagey. And as you can see, when you're cutting the paper for your book, you can just cut all different sizes, and that's what makes it so fun to use up your scraps and things like that. Um, I love all of the papers here. I don't know if my camera is focusing too well, but... Um, I just put, you know, like a bunch more in, let's see what else, uh, some more of that cute cut and paste paper, some tags, music paper, this is, uh, I think this is a Tattered Angels bingo card. Um, and you can just fun, er, ugh, you can add all kinds of fun little ephemera into it, uh, like a postcard here, um, an acetate sheet that says a million thanks, um, yeah, just some fun little things, oh, I'm going off camera here, and, uh, I can't wait to make another one. The thing that took the longest was just cutting all the paper. Once you do that, you can just uh, sort the papers in what order you want and bind it. And it's really, really fun. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be hard to get rid of this one, but I'm going to give it away in a rack, a uh, Christmas rack, to somebody special to me. And so I hope they like it because I love it. And... Um, the back just looks the same with some of that trim, but really cute. It's about a 6x8, so it's a good size. And then my next thing, sorry about my messy desk and all the shaking here. I made a mini album, and it's a teapot shape. I got this die cut shape from Mercedes. She's MP Crafts on YouTube. Thank you, Mercedes. Um, she gave me the chipboard pieces and I hand traced and cut all of the papers to go with them. The paper collection is Nana's Kitchen stack from D 
DCWV. And I just added a little cutout from the collection, some lace and pearls and a bow. I added some bows to the side, just a collage of flowers and buttons. And then it's just held with a binding ring, so when I flip it here, you'll see all the pages. This just uh, is a cute little um, sentiment from the collection. I added a, I think this is I Am Roses, but I got it from Heirloom Anthology in Iraq, and I just um, glimmer misted it with Lindy Stamp Gang, the Yellow Rose of Texas, and put some lace and pearls down here. So that's that page, and this page is like oranges and greens, um, and then I just added that little cutout too with some lace and pearls, thought that was cute. Um, yeah, all of these are sprayed with Lindy Stamping products, the flowers are. Um, another I Am Roses flower that I got from a rack, little seam binding bow and some velvety um, recollections lace. Really cute. And all of the edges of the pages are inked with Tim Holtz Distress Inks. This page here, I just added a seam binding bow. Um, I did a ruffle technique with some satin ribbon. And then this flower, I glimmer misted in Lindy Stamp Gang Blue, Hawaiian Blue. And this flower is from Mercedes. Thank you so much. And I'm just loving like the color schemes that are with this because it was really easy to pick things out to go with it. This page is so cute. Uh, just glimmer misted this in Cosmetol. Ugh. No, cotton candy pink. And then this one I just added a pearl in the center. And this is just a felt flower. Some trim from Joann's. So that's that page. This one, um, hard to see with the glare because it's so glittery, but um, this is actually a yellow flower I got from Mercedes, and I also gl um, glimmer misted that with Lindy Stamp Gang, Yellow Rose of Texas. And there's another cute little sentiment from the collection. And some more vintage laces thought that was cute this paper collection is cute for like a kitcheny teapot melt album or even like um, a recipe album would be really cute to put in here of like your favorite recipes um, so here's some recollections trim and then some vintage lace I think these flowers are prima I'm not really sure um, a button I got from Katie. Thanks, Katie. And some Wild Orchid Crafts. And then I just tied a little lace bow. That one's cute. It's got like milkshakes and donuts and coffee on it. Let's see which way I'm going here. This page is also really fun. Um, it says like cappuccino, frappuccino, and then it says made with love. And I just popped it up, and photos can actually fit behind here. Um, some more of the trims, and um, this is a handmade flower from Holly. Thanks, Holly. These two, and a little button there. So I thought that turned out pretty cute. This album is hard to turn because I just don't want the top to bend, but it works out alright. This page just says Food Fun Family, and I Pop that up on a stick pin with a little bow. This was a flower I received in a swap at Mini Album Scraps. Really pretty. Um, let's see. Some pearls and some lace bows. I'm sorry, you guys. I am have been tired all day today. This is just kind of sprayed sporadically with the Yellow Rose of Texas as well from Lindy Stamp Gang. And the last page, there is a lace bow here. This just says Bon Appetit. And this is also a flower I received in a swap at Mini Album Scraps. Really cute. And just some crocheted lace here with some buttons across. So, oh, and I put some um, 
jute twine behind here just to add a little bit. thought that was cute. And then the back is just kind of plain, but I put a little envelope in here and it closes with Velcro. And then there's just a little message in here for my friend who's getting this album. So, um, oh, this envelope was a die cut that Mercedes sent me as well. And um, I thought it would be cute to add to that. And I just love the paper. It's so cute. Um, I just bound the top here with a binding ring and some extra large We Are Memory Keepers eyelets. And I don't think I'm going to add any fibers just to this little part here so it turns easily because I've added a lot onto the edges of the teapot and um yeah so let me know what you think and um thanks everybody for watching bye